kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Real quick, I want to I want to go back before you continue before we get okay, too far away. Right. I want to say something here is that you know you said something. You said you know you got married in 2015. First off, that's the year I got married as well. Oh, so, nice, awesome. Now uh, the thing is, is that when you get married, I notice this in a man. It goes from I, even if you're engaged, you, you go from bachelor lifestyle mindset everything to yeah now i can provide yeah. and we're gonna have a family and we're gonna i can, i gotta do whatever i gotta do to make things happen and basically it puts a fire up your ass yeah <laughs> you know i did it did it do that for you oh yeah for sure it definitely did and, and my wife i'm thankful for her being like that she's a different animal like she's an animal she's 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 a different different personality different like mindset as yeah. far as like uh building uh few the future right and i i think differently like i'm a high d personality i take like risks that don't make any sense right i was yeah. like trying to mastermind like twenty five thousand dollar dump right uh but yeah. she's hey stick to a slow down right so uh, anyway, like at the time when I got married, I didn't have anything going because I had exited out of the online yep. business. I was doing these like deals here and there, but it was it's not like it's nothing in concrete, right? So right. Uh, I was renting for the first time, right? I was moved out of my parents' house. Uh, so when I was living in my parents' house, it's kind of like chilling, right? Like you don't have nothing yeah. going on. You don't have no bills, right? You got just got to pay for a yep gas and insurance and that's it you know and you're just i was kind of all over the place right i had no uh you're lucky life. you're lucky in that aspect <laughs> when i had my when my 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 parents said oh you move out or and you come back in like you gotta pay rent <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so was, if you contributing but it wasn't like yeah like they're old school and they're a little con conservative where yes, yeah they, the way look, the way to look at it is that if they made it too hard for me to live with them then i'm just yep. gonna go out and do all this other crazy stuff right yep. so kind of like a protection for them of to course create, right but i was contributing but it wasn't no like set expectations it was just yeah. like a few hundred dollars here and there right uh um, yeah but when i got married it was renting for the first time now i got bills right now i got yeah. like uh, like we got to go out once a week and like not that we have to but we wanted to right we wanted to live like a little bit of luxury right so that's a mindset thing i mean you don't want to be stuck in the house and that, that that's a poor mindset no offense to anybody who's doing uh, that yeah. you know if you're doing that intentionally great for you um as long as you know that there's like a light at the end of the tunnel mm, because yeah. if you don't know there's a light at the end of the tunnel and you just keep living that way you're yeah. going to go crazy and i know this from experience so <laughs> so and, and yeah i think it's for a lot of people they just uh just they just get caught up in the now right they they got yep. these bills they got these debt <clears throat> they got these you know problems that they have now so they settle for less at the survival level and try to survive and right. they just don't ever build that dream life right so that's who i was before i got married i didn't have a why i really didn't know where did i want to get to right i yeah. didn't have any aspirations it's all it was all about just making money right it's showing off right showing off more than i was making money by the way right yeah so, uh, uh but when you once you and even when i got married it was just like that was kind of like survival level but eventually one two three years into real estate then i realized like okay i my first year in real estate 2014 uh, i wasn't married so I did like three or four deals um like yeah year, no money um uh, uh second year that was the year i got married i did like three or four deals but 2015 2016 i did 35 deals 
So that's 17, wow. I did 65 deals. So that's an 18, I did like 70 something deals. So that's a 19, I did like 80 something deals. So that's 20, uh, 2020, I did like the highest I ever did the COVID year, $300,000 in GCI. And, and you know, rest is history. And it all started from setting that dream life. Like what, yeah. what okay. I have made a mistake. Once I got married, I realized like I should have like figured this thing out. Like I beat myself like to the bottom, right? I was like, yeah. I should have had it figured out. Like, why did I put her into this situation? And now I gotta figure it out. What is that dream life? What do I want? Yeah. Myself, right? I don't want to be renting, right? I don't want to be like renting a seven hundred and fifty dollar uh, one bedroom apartment and like we got like we gotta go into the basement mm-hmm. like a dungeon to do our laundry or like you know all right. this. And we were struggling to even do that, right? That wasn't yeah. the best that we wanted, right? But right. saying that why is what fires a person up. And that's what I teach my coaching uh, agents right now, agents that I coach um, mm-hmm. and agents that come into my team is that first thing, very first thing is you need to set that mindset right, right? Yeah. The right mindset, you need to have the right habits, you need to have a dream life mapped out for yourself because that would be that motivating factor for you to go out there and do it. If you don't have that, everything is hard, right? Making calls yep. is hard and getting clients is hard and getting for properties on the contract is hard and interest rates are high and no inventory, right? But if you have that dream life and you have that aspiration, everything else is just easy. Everything is just part of the process. Everything is just, you know, you it's just the car, right? Just like, oh, I gotta go. If you were best, if you're in your mind, your destination is the mind, the car could break down. You figure out to, how to get there. You leave the car behind and go there, right? Yes. So no, one hundred percent. I I really agree with that. The why is important. Okay. The yeah. why in any business sense is important. Um, you know, your family doing all that. Ever that that's our why. You know, now everyone could have a different why. Your why could be you a, a certain lifestyle. You know, mm-hmm. things like that. So, you know, I, I, I challenge anybody who's listening to this, ask yourself, what is your why? Okay. What is the reason you get up every morning to go to work and to make money and, you know, to strive every day to be just 1% better? Because that's what we need to be doing. Yeah. We need to make, we need to be 1% better every day. Not, we don't need to make huge jumps. All it takes is 1%. 1%. Right. All right. And, and even 1%. pro tip, pro tip here with the why yeah. is that, sure, start off with your why with your why, right? Meaning I want yeah. to yeah, wanna have this luxury lifestyle, whatever it is, right? But once you have attained that or at some level, you need to upgrade your why. So I upgrade my why every year, right? Oh, yeah. And, and you need to upgrade the why to, it has to be about other people rather than you. It has to be about other people, people that you want to serve, people that you want, people that are around you, your family members, your friends. That's the true why that would last, right? Other, yep. Anything else, that if it's just about you, you will attain it very fast and you're going to get bored and you're going to get confused and you're going to be lost. Uh, so 100%. it has to be about other people. That's what I found through my journey of this last eight, nine years is that if it's not about other people, you will very fast even if it is just for you it's kind of like selfish right and sometimes you just lose their aspiration to just have it for you right but if it's to give you know retire your parents and give the best life to your kids and your wife and you know um, for me my wife is just even beyond my family members is beyond you know it's it's two people that i want to serve all the real estate agents out there all the people yep. that are in the real estate industry that are struggling to be successful my why is them right so yeah. now i have to do it i have to wake up every day and do it for them and some days you be honest, right? Like you won't feel like doing it, right? You won't, you know, I might not feel like coming to this on this call this morning, Saturday, <laughs> but right. I'm doing it because I want to impact those lives that are, you know, people that are in your community, like let yeah. them know that, hey, it is possible if you just put your mind to it, but you need to draw your dream life, right? You need to map out your Most dream. definitely. So, so real, so the thing is, is that, all right, so, we got the whys everyone needs to figure out their why and then you need to constantly upgrade it that's kind of the the gist we get out of that so 
Um, I do that every year with my goals and, and everything like that. So that, that helps me as well. Um, you know, now, uh, as far as your, how did you become a broker versus just an agent? Oh, yeah. So, so I never wanted to be a broker. Actually, at okay. the point uh, of our marriage, I, my wife had this like, okay, I'm going to write this down, right? She, so I one time told her, I will never be a broker. I'll never, okay. never be a broker because of like how, how comfortable I was with my production and yep. I, I didn't need to, right? So I didn't be a broker for seven years. So I've been a broker for two years now. So seven years into real estate, I could have been a broker after three years. I qualified, you need, you need like six transactions a year, right? So I, in my third year, I did 30, uh, 45, 46 transactions. So I could have been a broker, right? But I didn't because I'm like, what's the point? It's more responsibility, it's more liability. I don't wanna, I don't wanna teach people, right? Yep. I do what I do, right? So, uh, but at end of 2020, I maxed myself out. I was working some days, majority of 2020, even though it was COVID, we couldn't get out of the house. I, I worked like 20 hours a day, 20 hours a day. And seven days a week, I would have worked eight days if someone gave me an extra day, right? Yeah. And, and I maxed myself out. At that point, it's like, there is nothing more I could give. Like I was literally yep. sleeping for three and a half, four hours a day. I would go to sleep, shutting my laptop, wake up, turn on my laptop, right? Literally yep. in bed, everything, right? So there is no way I could do more. I was, I had a virtual assistant. Uh, she was my, uh, prior to 2020, my wife was my assistant and we had our, uh, our son in 2019. So once we had our son, she couldn't be my assistant anymore. My right. admin. Uh, so I had a transaction coordinator and I had a, a, a virtual assistant that was doing my call, uh, like taking in calls and doing my schedules and kind of like an admin. Uh, uh, but I couldn't like as a single agent, I couldn't do more. Right. So I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. uh, I could, I could do more business for sure. There was more yeah. business uh, by 2020. I had to build a database of hundred thousand people. Uh, so, uh, I'm really big into online leads and, uh, all of majority, like 90, 90% of our business is generated to online. Uh, mm -hmm. and you know, it has changed over the, like since 2020, I kind of shifted things. I started focusing on, okay, all these deals that we could, we closed by now, we closed close to thousand transactions, but like, all these deals that we closed, we have done nothing to build the relationship with those people. Mm -hmm. We're just going from deal to deal to deal, new people, yep. new people, new people. And there were return, but no intentional systems around like getting yep. return business. Right. Uh, yep. but anyway, I, I looked at it. I'm like, the opportunity is huge. I could do double the business that I did in 2020 if I had the capacity. So I decided to increase my capacity. I hired mm -hmm. a coach uh, to build teams and they kind of gave me an option, uh, three options. Number one, you uh, build a team by adding in slowly uh, uh, by a showing assistant, right? And, and yep. you kind of outsource your showings and you outsource your tasks. Number two, you uh, step out of the production halfway you hire buyer agents, you hire listing agents, and you start building a team, but you're still in production. Yep. And number three is you step away from production all the way and you start building a team. And with the first option is the slowest growth. Second option, it was like mid growth that I should have went with the third, second option, but I went with the third option is like the fastest growth. I'm like, okay, I have the opportunities. And it's only a matter of setting up this team. So I decided to start the team one year into do like build like in the first three months I recruited like 16 agents. It's like I went like all yep. in. Uh, but through that process I realized like it takes a lot more than just like having opportunities. You gotta train these agents, you gotta coach these agents. I'm having these yeah. meetings with agents that see opportunities with me and I kept coming across people just saying, uh, are you a broker? <laughs> right. And I'm like, I'm not a broker, but I probably sold more houses than your broker. Right. Um, yeah. So initially I got, I got licensed as a broker just so that I get this, get rid of this conversation. Are you a broker? I'm like, yes, I'm a broker from the beginning of the conversation. Right. But yeah. eventually now, by now, like now that we are switched over to EXP, now there is a lot more benefits that I see being a broker, uh, than just the conversational benefits. Honestly, like, okay. 
an agent in real estate, a real estate agent has the same opportunity. If you're in EXP, you have the same opportunity as a broker. It was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room